Hi there, this video is uh, to uh, give uh, users that are interested in our contractor labor module uh, some insight into how it functions. Okay, so if you have our add-on uh, labor module, um, you will now have the ability to um, come in and set up some different labor pricing configurations in Maestro, and then to be able to select them uh, as you're going through an estimate. And then after you've created the estimate, you're, it's going to create a report called the turnkey breakdown. And that turnkey breakdown, one of the menu items that you'll have is to be able to uh, switch between different pricing schemes to see uh, how the price will come out using contractor A or contractor B or contractor C uh, or however you set up your labor configuration. Or you might be just a, uh, a contractor that has a couple of different configurations, one for square footage and one for maybe labor hours. Okay, so let's get started. All right, first thing you want to do is click on product setup. All right, once you're into product setup, you've got an, a button down here called labor module setup. So we will come down here and click on labor module setup. And right now, Maestro comes set up with what's called default setup for labor. And then you can create uh, multiple names. Like right now, this one was called temp2. I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to create another one. We're going to call this uh, uh, sample, um, sample pricing, sample labor A, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the side. You see we've got new, delete, or copy. All right, so I am going to come in here and I am going to hit copy. Because what a, what a copy is going to do is it's going to copy the contents of the default, which will save you tons of time. All right, so we're going to hit copy. And then it's going to tell you that uh, uh, a file has been created. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can refresh this. Yeah. Uh, I can't. So we'll just say OK. It's just a, a an item saying that that uh, it's just a message box that pops up and just says that uh, a new uh, copy is being created and it'll be called temp3. I couldn't see it on the video screen. I don't know if it was because we're running this video software or not. But anyways, moving on. So we see temp3. All right, so I come in here to temp three. I can change the name to whatever I want it to say. So I'm going to say labor um, pricing option one or A. We'll just say one. So we hit update. Now notice it changed the name here. And it's going through and it's creating all the tables and so on that needs to take care of business. All right, now notice here this first tab we got is called line item pricing. The second tab we got is square footage pricing. The third tab is concrete floor pricing. This tab is for labor hours, and this is not a labor hour configuration that we set up. If it would have been, we would have checked this use labor hours button, and it would have asked for our crew labor hour rate. Okay, And then the next one is custom. So if I wanted to create some custom calculation that I want to run every time we use this option, you can. All you do is come in, uh, let's say we want to add profit to the building. So we say profit, okay? And then we select the type. Is it based on the main structure? Uh, lean tos on the gables, eaves, so on, for the entire structure or components or percentage of the, of the overall project. So we're gonna say percentage. Is it of the overall project? Is it of the labor only? Is it for the materials only? We want the overall project, like I said a minute ago. All right, so percentage. Uh, we see the example how they want it. So if I wanted 10%, it needs to be set up as 0 0.10. And then we hit update. We now have a custom function that will run every time we select labor pricing option that will give us a line item of profit 10% over and above all of the labor and all of the material for that building, okay? It'll show up in two places. It'll show up uh, on the, uh, the the turnkey breakdown as a line item, and it'll show up on the quotation page as 
is part of the grand total install. Okay. Then the next tab over here is product groups and in individual products. Now, in Maestro, you can go in and create what's called a group or an assembly uh, of items that you can create uh, and select just the name of the group, and it will put all of the products and quantities that were in that group onto your material list. So for instance, right now in uh, uh, labor, I mean, in, in product setup, I went into product groups and I created a four foot stairway for a 10 foot ceiling building. Maestro doesn't automate stairways, but I wanted that stairway on my material list because this particular building did need a stairway. So as you're going through an estimate, in post frame, you have the ability to be able to um, select a product group and then go down through your product group and select stairway and then whatever product items that I had in quantities for that stairway will show up on your material list. Okay, but when it comes to labor, how do we know what to charge for that? Well, if you go to product groups and individual products and I'm going to a group and I say four foot stairway, hey, I want an extra $300 labor to build that stairway and when i hit update i now have uh, a a labor rate attached to that stairway so if i select the stairway and i have the labor module there's going to be a 300 hundred dollar charge in there for a four foot stairway okay so what we'll do is we're going to go back to line items all right and if you notice here there are a lot of items in here there's about 1,300 to be exact. So as you scroll down through this, you'll see that there are tons of different things that you can do to change the labor on a building. For example, let's do this. Let's go in and right from the get-go, we're just going to say, hey, I want to set up a base square footage price for a building with no overhangs. Okay? So... Uh, what 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 we're going to do here is we are going to um, set up a range of square footages. So let, let's say that the building is from one square foot to 1,500 square foot. Um, we're going to set up our labor rate to be no, two bucks a foot. Okay. And a building from 1,500 to 3,000 square foot. And by the way, you can change these right here to whatever you want them to be. Uh, we'll just say it's $1.75 a foot. And if it's 3,000 to 60,000 square foot, so that means pretty much any building we're going to build that's over 3,000 square foot, uh, we're going to charge $1.50 a square foot. And you hit update. Okay, so you can set up these ranges. Concrete. So this is a material and labor for concrete. So if you want to pour a four, four inch thick floor, 3,500 pound test, uh, let's say we want to get $3.50 a square foot update. If you're pouring something thicker, uh, let's say six inches thick, uh, 425 update. So see what we're doing here? So you're, you're, you're setting the rates for your concrete material and labor per square foot all right and then if you want to add some line item pricing that's where this comes in so for instance well what happens if there's an overhang on the building what if it has a one foot overhang and i need fascia and soffit now and my base price over here for the square footage was just for a zero overhang building well then go to line item pricing and let's do a search for fascia so you type in fascia there's two ways to spell fascia there's fac uh, F-A-S-C-I-A and F-A-C-I-A. We went with F-A-C-I-A. If you hit enter, you'll notice, well, look at here. There's options for aluminum facial labor, steel facial labor, vinyl facial labor, wood. So if you're doing a rough sawn cedar labor. So we're going to choose uh, steel labor. And that means anytime we have fascia, I want a buck a foot. So I hit update. Now I have a dollar a foot. So if it was aluminum fascia, I want a dollar a foot for that as well. So I hit update. Okay. So what if I have a window? You could type in window. 
enter. And for each window I put in, you can do a per square foot. So, hey, if the window's giant, you can get more money for the install of that window versus a smaller window. Or I could just say per window installation. Well, I want uh, $75 per window update. There you go. We can set it up like that. Okay. So you kind of get an idea of what we're doing here. And then that's all there is to the configuration. So once you have that configured, uh, you can run in and do an estimate. And when you go to run an estimate, so let's go in here and I will click on post frame kit. And I'm going to grab an estimate that we've already done. Uh, we'll grab my cranks here. And I'm going to jump right to openings. So I'm going to bypass the form, go right here to the end and get ready to start building this. And when I start building this, you'll see the option to pull up labor. So in this case, when we're right, so we get to where the door openings are and I hit finish. Okay. When you hit finish, this pops up right here. This is what I wanted to show you. Labor cost profile. There's labor pricing option one, default, temp. So I could select labor pricing profile option one and hit OK. And this process takes oh, about a minute on my machine. I have, I'm running an Intel i7, uh, 8 gig RAM, Windows 10. I have an NVIDIA um, GTX uh, uh, 1060, I think, on this. So it, it runs fairly fast. And there's a lot happening behind the scenes. This is drawing all the plans, calculating the materials, creating all these different reports in a matter of a minute, right about a minute. When you get to about 75%, it starts talking to your printer. And this will slow it down a little bit because it's communicating with the Excel spreadsheets and the printer back and forth, back and forth. And then once it's through with that, then uh, we're just about done. And we're waiting. And all right, it's complete. Okay, so here's what I wanted to show you is notice here if you do not have the labor module, all you see is a grand total for materials. If you have the installed module, then you'll see the grand total for an installed price. These are all fictitious numbers, by the way. But if you notice up here at the add-ins tab and go to totals, I can show materials only. And there's what you see if you're just a material user for Maestro. And then if you wanted to say, hey, well, if you wanted to get an installed price on that, we can show you the installed price. And then you see how it switches. Okay. And then if you go to return, you got a new uh, report called turnkey breakdown. And we're going to zoom in on this so we can see it better. So you just hit zoom and zoom in. And when you start looking down here, you'll see there's that stairway at $300. There's the concrete for the building at $350. Uh, I also had one in there for stake out a post frame uh, building. So it's 50 bucks to stake it out. The base square footage of the building was this. Look, at I even had a setting in there for 40 foot trusses. So I'm getting money for setting those. So those can all be zeroed out. Uh, but right now you can just get a taste of what we're what we have already set up. Now notice here on this overhead doors, I had it set up for 235 a square foot. I had 144, so I had a 12 by 12 door, 338.40 for the labor. And so you can see how this works. And then notice down here profit, we're taking the 3306.91. 10%, adding that on, this is where we came up, derived with our grant total, okay? So this is all based on whatever numbers you put in the system in, in the labor setup, and then this will build a report based on the numbers that you have set up, and however many items that you have set up in there, that's how many line items you'll have for your building. So 
hopefully this video was helpful and uh, I just wanted to show you how to go about doing that and I'm sure there'll be more videos to come but uh, thanks for tuning in appreciate uh, you taking a look at this